Optimizers Unlimited presents Episode 39 Ripple Effect Told by Brian Orton Just as ripples spread out when a single pebble is dropped into water, the actions of individuals can have far-reaching effects. Dalai Lama John was struggling at work and went to see his supervisor, Janice. Immediately, John started complaining to her about other staff members, how they didn't like him, and few people ever volunteered to work with him. Mostly, they got assigned to work with him on a project and begrudgingly did it. He has never assigned anything of significance. No one socializes with him, especially outside of work. He asked Janice if she would fix this for him by speaking to the other staff members and straightening them out. Janice asked John to join her on a walk through the company campus until they came to a large pond. They were discussing John's strong desire to make a bigger impact when suddenly Janice bent down and picked up a pebble. She threw it into the water and they both watched the ripples spread out. As the ripples came closer to the edge of the pond, Janice asked John to stick his fingers into the water to try and stop the waves. John tried to stop the ripples, but they kept expanding until they reached the whole pond. John said, it's impossible to stop the ripples. I can't do it. Janice replied, exactly. You can't stop the ripples and neither can I. What is done cannot be undone. I cannot stop the ripples that you have created. Janice continued, every behavior, action, comment, and intention you make creates a ripple that will travel throughout the entire pond, or in our case, the whole team. All you can do is control the kind of stone you toss into the pond to determine what type of ripple effect you will create. Stones of encouragement, positivity, support, teamwork, hope, contribution, belief in others, inspiration, productivity, belonging, and love have impacts that make us greater. These ripples build us up and people enjoy being part of this. Stones of criticism, jealousy, divisiveness, hurt, lacking, complaining, doubt, and negativity also spread throughout the pond and affect us equally. You will always get the effect of the stone you throw. It's simply unavoidable. The initial impact will spread farther and wider than you ever imagined. You see, John, the stone of your behavior or comment doesn't just make a difference to that small area of water. It travels and you can't stop it. What messages are you sending out to others? If you want a different result, start with a different input on your part. We are all influencing each other. That's not in doubt. The real question is what type of impact do you want to start each time? Ripples can work for or against you, John. The choice is clearly yours. A teenager was listening to the conversation between John and Janice. I have something to add, he said. Throwing a pebble into the pond certainly makes an impact, but I've found throwing my whole self into something dramatically makes an even bigger impact. Watch this. The teenager then sprinted to the edge of the pond and jumped in doing a dramatic belly flop. People love being around me because I go all in with support, encouragement, commitment, and acceptance of others causing massive ripples of positivity. How big of a splash do you want to make in life? Maybe a better question is how big of a splash do you dare to make with your life? How committed are you to making a positive impact? The only limit to your impact is your imagination and commitment. Tony Robbins If you found value in this video, please consider subscribing and hitting the like button. Thank you. Have a great day.